With fall coming up, it is time to texture paint leaves and moss onto things. Doing this onto roofs, buildings, and pathways can add so much realism without bogging down your computer with polygon counts, since this is all using normal maps. I did it using a pretty complicated node setup that I formulated, and it actually works pretty well. So, also big thanks to Polyhaven for giving me those textures. I took them out, and let's get on with it. So you can start by clicking on the link in the description, going to the Google Drive, and downloading leafpaint.zip. So, once you have that downloaded, which is about 21 megabytes, I think, you can extract it. So just extract all, um, and then you can open the leafpaint.blend. All of the textures are packed, so you will not have to import any new ones except for the ones that you actually want to write over. So check this out, look. It looks like a stream of some sort, like an ugly stream. But, okay, I've already done a demo um, the texture paint mapping here and the reason it looks like it's a stream is because the base color is black since you don't actually have one you can open a base color um right here right over here and like um look bricks suddenly bricks and then you can open a nor you can open a brick normal map so like um open image like you know the displacement and check it out look you have this nice brick pathway but you obviously want to actually paint the leaves on top of that thing so okay so what you're gonna do um just let's try it let's do it on this plane first just to test it so that you know how to do it when um you actually really use it so you can go over to the texture pa tab and green is gonna paint moss make sure that you have base base color selected or else it's going to get really bad so um i have this light here so that you can see the leaves in higher contrast and this is only one polygon it's all done with normal mapping in my super advanced code setup <laughs> so look so now we can actually paint like moss and different things on it so like you can turn up the strength and look it's all it's a lot of moss and paints here too green is moss Red is leaves, white is a race. So like um, you can go, you can just go to white and just erase everything. And you don't have to use bricks for this. This is just what I used for this demo. So, when you can add a ton of moss now. I actually did a picture with boards because I couldn't find a better one, and it was CC over oh, the moss bum. And so I got these textures from Polyhaven, like I said. Um, so you can start by drawing with the red, you can draw like leaves where you want them. No. Just keep on, you can change the brush size. The strength controls the density of the leaves. You can have a, a, a for a very, you can have a very small strength. Look, and I think that's too small. A very, there's a very low density of leaves, so I like to do that towards the edge. So look, I actually have some leaves now, and that is actually really cool. So, so you can go to green to add moss. It normally works with a pretty low density, as you'd expect. And I like to put moss around my pathways because, I don't know, it, just, it makes things feel much more real. And check that out! And then you can take the white again. And then... Oh, you need to turn up the strength if you're erasing. You know, you can erase. And look, and that's actually really cool. So, this is an ideal situation. You can just keep on doing stuff on planes really easily. But, say you have some more complicated geometry. It makes things kind of hard. So copy the plane from here. So you can copy objects. So what you're gonna do is of course create one more UV map, go to UV maps, and press plus to create one more UV map 001. Then paste your plane, delete it, and now you have the texture in the scene. So you select your building, and then building, and note you know, the base color, and you can copy this, um, and then it's just so you can um, 
easily get again and then set the base color to base. And yeah, it's perfect. Nah, that's, that's not perfect at all. So, what we're gonna do is set the base material to um, images and then you can actually paste that in there and then open your image. And look, your image is back in there, but it's unfortunately, and you're gonna and look, this it honestly looks really weird and not good at all. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to UV map 001, select everything, I'll make sure it's UV map 001, and press U cube projection. Look, the leaves already look a bit better, but still, no, they don't. So, you press A, and to keep the um, things from overlapping, you're going to select distant individual ori origins, and then you scale them up so that none of them, scale them down so that none of them overlap anymore. There might still be a few, but well, unfortunately, it's kind of to be expected, but some of the leaves get too big, so we can compensate for that on like the top, like 60, 60, uh, until actually a hundred until it actually looks kind of bearable so now that actually already looks kind of cool especially if we go and you can see even the bump maps are already working so I might have to adjust the strength at some point but for now I can do the texture painting so I didn't do the preview mode and now you can start texture painting so just turn up the radius, make sure that you're white, and then just clear everything if you if you have a new building. And look! Ta-da! So, you can turn this down again, and then you can do red to paint leaves, like I said. And we're probably going to find leaves in places like gutters. <laughs> Now you might want some moss, so you can add like moss under window sills and things like that. So, much more realistic looking building now. And okay, and if the normal maps are getting weird, but they shouldn't be getting weird, but if like weird things are happening, you can move a light to the side to get some high contrast. And now it doesn't look like the leaves are actually popping out enough. So it depends on the scale of your scene really. But if that's happening, I should have included this, but it's too late now. Um, What you can do is you can just right here, this is the moss, this is the leaves, you can change the distance. So distance um see actually this is the leaves see right here you can change distance and it was obviously way too small so there there you have it you have the leaves are much better now actually and they actually pop out but check this out i love it do you thanks for watching i hope this was a really helpful thing um and if you found it helpful, can please subscribe. I really would appreciate that. And this took some work for with all the nodes and everything. So I hope someone was able to use it. And thanks for watching.